Hey everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Try Artistry. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we're going to do a Dutch pour with some really cool metallics. So let me get you started right away. Let's go. Hey everyone, we're going to be doing a 20 by 20, like I said in the beginning, a Dutch pour, and you're going to want to make sure that you're leveled. Now, the reason why I'm speeding this up right now, so please bear with me, is I added some different colors and in the process when I when I did the Dutch pour, so I felt like there's no need to do the intro when I added more colors. So I'm just going to show you how I'm preparing the canvas before I actually go and do the Dutch pour. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this copper it's a creative inspirations copper and I am just brushing it on the sides and on the top to just get that base color on there now I do wish I would have done a second coat let this dry and did a second coat on the sides to make the sides a little bit darker than they were before I started but I really wanted to start pouring well let's get started with the pouring next Okay, I thought I started my camera when I did all these steps for the colors, but I didn't. So let me just start over. I have used Artist Loft Metallic Red. That was the first color I put down. This Artist Loft Metallic Yellow. This Artist Loft Metallic Light Blue. Arteza, it is actually a coral color. The number is there. It doesn't have the color name on it. And then this is a combination of an Artist Loft Green and a Deco Art Blue. And then Artist Loft gold and that was the number two as well I'll, I'll put all this down below and then now what I'm putting on is the artist loft cobalt blue which is one of my favorite colors actually so the next step is to take your hair dryer and there's two ways to blow so right now you're seeing me as I'm crossing the colors over top of each other. So I go over top of the colors and then out onto the copper. And that copper, I will also give you uh, the name of that later as well. So I'm just nice and easy side to side blowing this. Now you can over blow a Dutch pour, so you've gotta be really careful. And there is a part in this video that I actually do that and I'll share that with you when I do that but right now I'm just nice and easy taking it across of course this is low on my hair dryer no heat and I like empty space but I also like it very soft okay now did you see how I did that how I brought the copper over top so it makes a totally different look when you bring the bottom color or your base color over the top of your colors. So now I'm kind of trying to fix it because I don't really like that right now. Um, I'm trying to push this other color over that copper and getting down into it and it's starting to get a little muddy and I'm bringing the copper over the color that I don't want. So you're gonna start to see me overblow this and I'm just gonna let you watch for, <laughs> I can't even hardly see myself do this <laughs> I'm just bringing the copper over the color too much and now I'm like getting mad at myself I, I can actually feel it even though I'm not doing it right now I'm voiceovering this I'm like <laughs> what did I do so I am just gonna take my time and really take a look at where the areas that I want to soften and um, add a little bit more copper because I've got so much copper in certain areas. Now you're gonna see that I'm actually noticing something. The copper, when I blow the paint, it's actually making like these dark waves almost. And I'm kind of it's a 70s quote, but I'm kind of digging it. So I'm going to keep going with this as I'm working through it. Now you can see that I'm trying to work more waves into this. And actually, I, I'm not unhappy with it now. 
now that I have kind of stopped blowing for a little bit and I want to touch up my corners and my sides a little bit because it really does help me to kind of think as I am um, looking at the full composition it just it just kind of helps me so right now I can tell that the copper underneath wasn't dark enough so you can kind of see me patting it right there and it's white right there so I'm gonna try really lightly to get that so that that looks um, like a full copper color so now that I have been doing that I'm like okay I want to get some of this copper over top of the edge to help create some really cool like designs on the edge of it because I like the raw edges I don't know if you do uh, sometimes it all depends for me to be honest with you there are some paintings that I really like it to be clean and then there's other ones like this one I think it looks better as the drips are coming down and it just adds to the texture of this so now I'm gonna kind of try to bring some of this color back into that copper area that, they, that I blew over right there. So I'm doing what we call a finger swipe. And you've gotta be really careful because you can completely mess it up if you're, not, um, if you're not paying attention. So what I don't like on there was I did not like the start, the sharpness of that line and so now I'm softening it out again softening softening it out again and I didn't like the finger so I'm gonna use my skewer here and I'm just gonna bring it down and make a little bit more of a swirly motion and I'm gonna take it up into the other area too as well And just be careful not to overblow because I'm not wanting to make, <laughs> I wanna make sure I don't have the colors getting too muddy. I want them to still stand out. I want it to be soft. And I've never been really good about blowing it with my mouth. So I just take my time with my blow dryer. And now I'm connecting that top area into the center a little bit more using my skewer. And I'm gonna soften it up again in that one area that the copper blew over. And I'm just going, okay, don't overblow, Rhonda, don't overblow. That's what I'm thinking right now. Like, how do I make this exactly the composition that I want? So I'm just adding just a little bit more, how I'm bringing it in. I'm thinking like, do I want more swirls in the center? Do I not want swirls? And here I'm like going, nope, done. <laughs> I'm not gonna do any more. Here's the end results, wet. It really looks pretty cool. It looks very busy wet. It's going to look better dry, I promise, um, or I would have probably have painted over this. But I'm super happy with some of the softness of this, the colors that came out. I'm not quite sure I like the green green. I love that um, blue green that's in there. Um, but yeah, you tell me what you think. And those ripples, I mean, those ripples at the tops and on the sides, of the copper it was just kind of cool how it made that so anyway that's how i do this dutch pour well here's the end results to this i wanted to show you outside because i wanted to show you the metallics in this it is gorgeous it is varnished and i love how the um copper made these really cool different texture within the painting so, oh, there's my dog. Hi, Bailey. Bailey. She likes it too. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you outside so you could see all of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now. Bye. 
Thanks for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. And if you like this video, I bet you're gonna like these as well. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye. Bye.